I think functionality-wise, uh, what we showed at Gamescom uh, was pretty close. Um, what we showed was the Forte wheel. I would have preferred to show the Invicta wheel because that contains a display and is just a little bit more... Um, but it was not ready. Uh, and the reason the, the display version is not ready is simply because of the, the global component situation that we were not able to log in the design until later compared to the Forte wheel. So if, if we just uh, focus on the Forte wheel, this is actually uh, one of the Forte wheels from the Gamescom, uh, Gamescom show. And uh, this looks like uh, cheap plastic because it is. Uh, we did not have the parts ready, so this was actually a 3D printed sample. Uh, I believe it's pretty good for a, a 3D print, but for sure our product will look uh, much better than this. The, the, the outer dimensions and, and things like that will, will be the same, but uh, you know the buttons will actually be two colors instead of gray, uh, 3D print. Same with the wheels here. The LED will be uh, much more intelligent in the sense that there will be small markers on them showing what it is. and. Uh, these are also just prototypes. Everything on this steering wheel uh, are prototypes. Um, I can talk a little bit about the, the material. The, the Quick Connect interface, what actually mates uh, with the wheelbase, uh, is of course aluminum. Die cast aluminum that's CNC machined and, and anodized. In terms of the, the wheel itself, we had uh, different options, of course, from CNC manufacturing, uh, CNC manufactured aluminum uh, to the other extreme, uh, carbon fiber that is handmade. And uh, none of these things made sense in, in our head because, again, what, what we would like to achieve here is to make affordable, high quality products. And uh, CNC machining, carbon fiber, it doesn't really uh, tick that box. So, what we have done is we have invested a lot of money in tools and then we are using a composite material. So it's a carbon composite. There will be carbon fibers in it. There will be glass fibers in it. Um, and then, of course, it, it's, a, it's a material that can be uh, injection molded. So you will get a very uh, rigid uh, structure and still in a, a quite nice and exotic material. And uh, some of the challenges we've had was that we wanted the end user, meaning you, to be able to exchange these uh, handlebars. And we all want a, a stiff steering wheel, but how do you make a steering wheel stiff when at the same time the end user can actually and is allowed to remove these and change them for something bigger, different colors, different hardnesses, etc. Uh, so that has been a, a big engineering project uh, over here, and I, I think we have accomplished it. But I don't want to spill all the beans on the steering wheels at this moment, but th that would be the main differences from, from what we showed.